Hello, everybody. We're back with more box office predictions. Continuing, we have this potential train wreck. Uh, Aladdin 2019. Yes, you know, obviously a remake of the 1992 classic. You know, we all know this. Uh, hmm. Now, the Disney live-action reimaginings. I don't know why they put 101 Dalmatians in there. It seems weird but ever since alice in wonderland these movies have done mostly well i mean you have alice you have oz great and powerful you have excuse me maleficent you have jungle book you have beauty and the beast all were mega hits and cinderella all were mega hits the only real duds in the group are alice through the looking glass which no one liked i hated that movie i'll never review it because that movie just doesn't deserve any type of attention. Peach Dragon, I heard, is good, but I just never really cared. <laughs> See, these movies are done mostly good, or great, or fantastic at the box office. Now, this movie could do well, good as well, you know. The nostalgia of the original movie could help it, you know, with adults and kids and whatnot. You know, Disney does have that family audience. They could show up to support this movie. It's possible. You know, Detective Pikachu would be about two weeks old at this point. And then the next real kids movie will be Secret Life of Pets 2. But this movie has a lot of problems, as you all know. First of all, all the negative buzz this is getting, it's, it's been brutal. <laughs> Even more than any other live-action Disney remake. You know, because... People generally love the original movie. You know, they love that movie to death. And, you know, seeing this new version, it just, the trailers don't make it look very good at all. I mean, have you seen Jafar? What is, what is he? First of all, he's way too young. And then he's not intimidating in the slightest. He has, like, the most bland voice you could imagine. You know, no one looks like themselves from the movie. You know, Aladdin doesn't look like himself you know, you know, Jade doesn't look like herself. No, Jasmine. What am I saying? I'm thinking Jade from Mortal Kombat. Jasmine doesn't look like herself. You know, it, you know, it, especially Jafar doesn't look like himself. Things just don't look right. It's just, why Disney? <laughs> you know, you did pretty well with some of your other movies. Why are you struggling so much in this one? Doesn't make sense. Then the big elephant in the room, Will Smith as the genie. Now, we all know Robin Williams was the genie, an iconic character. You cannot replace Robin Williams as the genie. Will Smith will try. I think he'll do okay, but his design is horrendous. It is atrocious. It is abysmal. It is awful looking. It looks so terrible. CGI looks so bad on his face. Because it feels like that face just doesn't work with that body. It's really bad. And it's amazing that Disney... You know, when compared to, like, Detective Pikachu... You know, Detective Pikachu, sure, some of those Pokemon look straight up terrifying. But a lot of them look really good. They look like they really belong in the world. The genie does not. He doesn't... He looks like just a CGI... You know, basically Dr. Manhattan if he had hair. And, you know... Had clothes on. <laughs> and there's also this uh, underlying factor um, when it's coming out. May 24th, which will be Memorial Day. Want to know why that's bad? It's because ever since 2015, this date has been cursed for Disney movies. This has been a cursed date. Because 2015, they released a movie called Tomorrowland, which really wasn't all that great. It had, you know, you know... The director was, you know, Brad Bird, you know, from The Incredibles, Brad Tui, Mission Impossible 4, you know, had George Clooney. Movie was a dud. It was a, the dud on the levels of John Carter and Lone Ranger. It was that bad. Next year, Alice Through Looking Glass. Just as big as a just as big of a dud. And a, tr and a terrible movie. 2017 was Pirates 5. Now, this one didn't do quite as bad as the as the box office, but it was the worst performing movie of the series, so that's still pretty bad. And then, of course, last year, last year's epic failure known as Solo, which was the worst performing Star Wars movie of all time, bar none. Yeah. 
Memorial Day is not a good day to release a Disney movie. So why is Disney occupying this date? Despite the past four attempts have been pretty much duds. Why do you want to do this again? Doesn't make sense. So my prediction, um, you know, I'm just going to say right now, Beauty and the Beast level numbers, you know, Jungle Book numbers, uh, Alice in, in Wonderland numbers, those are all out of the question. Those are not happening. I think it will do at least on par with Maleficent numbers or Oz numbers, which seems pretty terrible for a property like this. But considering all that negative buzz, that's what I think it's going to be. So I think it's opening weekend for like the three day will be like in the 80s. And um, four day will probably be have 100 in it. And then overall, I think it will make like 200 to 250, probably 240, my guess. You know, I'm I'm pretty sure Disney hoping is hoping it does better than that, but things aren't looking too hot. So yes, next movie I'm doing, Godzilla King of Monsters. That will be very interesting. So make sure to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment, and I'll see you all next time. And I am out.